The new IUCN Global Ecosystem Typology is a comprehensive classification framework that integrates the functional and compositional features of ecosystems. This new typology will help identify the ecosystems that are most critical for biodiversity conservation, research, management, and human well-being. The IUCN Global Ecosystem Typology comprises six hierarchical levels. The three upper levels classify ecosystems based on their functional characteristics, such as the structural role of foundation species, water regime, climatic regime, or food web structure. The three lower levels focus on species composition and features that are regionally and locally important. The typology combines top-down and bottom-up approaches to look at different scales of organization. For example, sea ice is recognized as a single ecosystem functional group with a global distribution. But there are regional differences in phenology and structure and the megafauna component in the North and South Poles are completely different. These differences can be allocated in the lower levels of the typology. The top level of the typology are the major components of the biosphere that differ fundamentally in ecosystem organization and function. Sometimes these components are clearly distinct. For example, seagrass is in a different realm than the terrestrial vegetation. But some ecosystems are located in between, for example, the sandy shores in the intertidal areas. Thus, the typology recognized core realms such as marine, subterranean, freshwater, and terrestrial, and transitional realms where the core realms meet and create distinct ecosystems. Functional biomes are the second level of the hierarchy. They are components of the realms united by broad features of ecosystem structure and one or few common major ecological drivers that regulate major ecological functions. They are derived from the top down by subdivision of realms. For example, the rivers and streams biome includes running water ecosystems flowing from uplands or underground springs towards deltas, estuaries, or lakes. They can have permanent seasonal or episodic flows, and they can differ in total flow or volume. Ecosystem functional groups are groups of related ecosystems within a single biome that share common ecological drivers, which in turn promote similar biotic traits that characterize the group. They are derived from the top down by subdivision of biomes. For example, tropical coral reefs can have different structure and biota, but all belong to the photic coral reef functional group in the marine shelf biome. The key ecological drivers and ecological traits of all functional groups is summarized in their descriptive profiles and illustrated by diagrammatic assembly models. The three upper levels of the typology have been fully developed in consultation with global experts using a top-down approach. There are five core realms, six transitional realms, 25 biomes, and 108 ecosystem functional groups in the three upper levels of the typology. These include includes, uh, six anthropogenic re uh, biomes and 15 anthropogenic functional groups. The three lower levels of the typology are being developed by integration of existing regional classifications that are linked to the existing upper levels. These units consider how local elements of the biota or regional features of climate and geology influence the response to common ecological drivers. For example, different plant families dominate tropical forests in South America, Africa, and Asia, 
and key interactions like uh, pollination and seed dispersal are performed by different assemblages of vertebrates and invertebrates in each continent. The crosswalks between existing classifications and the typology allows to integrate units that are already incorporated into policy infrastructure at national levels. This is crucial as important conservation action occurs at local levels where most ecosystem specific knowledge and data reside. The IUCN Global Ecosystem Typology has been published as a comprehensive report with descriptive profiles of all biomes and functional groups and a website for interactive exploration of this content. In the website, the users can explore the different levels of the typology uh, by browsing rions, biomes, and functional groups. Users can also make uh, spatial queries um, by countries, uh, marine regions, or custom polygons. The website includes sections with information about the typology, um, method, a glossary, and a search function. For example, if we look for the keyword forest, we will find kelp forest and so-called animal forest in the marine uh, realm and a wide range of um, forests in the terrestrial realm, and also in palustrine wetlands and intertidal transitional um, um, realms. This last uh, group is also known as mangrove. And uh, for each functional group, we can zoom into the map and interact with the map. And we can read um, a brief description of the functional group, as well as a full descriptive profile with the ecological traits and key ecological drivers. We can view the diagrammatic assembly model and information about distribution and the references linked to the profile. And we can click related uh, functional groups in the same biome or follow the links in the text text um, to explore how different functional groups are related in different biomes and realms. 